man. That hurt my bottom. Hi, and welcome to the very first edition of Whoa! I want to read that of 2015. Speaking of 2015, I thought maybe to those of you who are new to the channel and have just subscribed, why wouldn't you have subscribed? <laughs> subscribe! Let's take a look at some clips from 2014. Hi, I'm Mr. Washgo! But welcome to our very first edition of Whoa! I want to read that. I want to read that. I want to read that. I would like to read that, please. Books are awesome! That's not even what it's called. <laughs> Help me. It's so magical! Get out of the way! Have you ever licked your own feet, Mr. Tillman? Yes. <laughs> Baby crowed? Baby crowed. Stop calling me Scully. My name is Brenda. Brenda? Your name is... Your name is Brenda. Is there something wrong with- No, I don't- I'm You excited about this week, Mr. Tillman? I can't wait to hear more about those books! He's more than just a death supply. He's manlier than you'll ever be. Protect your neck, kid! <laughs> you hear that? No, not again. Oh, Mr. Tillman, you know what that means. Dance party! Turn down for what? Unlike cooks, there's too many. Wait. Unlike cooks, never have too many books in the kitchen. So listen, I'm on a mission to read books in your kitchen. <laughs> yo, we're the bomb, yo! Mr. Tillman, you need it for a magical unicorn adventure! You're not famous. Oh, that's a bad paper cut. Is it over? Yeah, Mitch? <laughs> Alright, okay, you don't have to yell at me, Mitch. Chill out, man. I'll put you back in the box. Recently, Miss Woods' class at Superior Middle School reached out and they sent this awesome picture. Look at that. They plan in the new year to have a shelf of Mr. Wasco's recommendations from Whoa! I would like to read that, please. That's fantastic. And the even greatest part, they're in Canada. We're going international, y'all. Shout outs to Canada, to all those in Ms. Woods' class. Seventh grade purple team, what, what? Would it be shout, shout oots? Shoot, shoot oots? Shoot oots. That sounds offensive, I'm sorry. Yay, Canada. I got a new book for you guys all the way up there in Canada and around the globe to add to your Whoa, I want to read that bookshelves. And that's my number one favorite book funk book. And we've talked about this before, but a book funk is when you don't know what to read and you're sitting around the house like, Honey, it's time to do your nightly reading. I don't know what to read. Read a book, it doesn't matter. Leave me alone, mom. You don't talk to your mother that way. Why don't you stop watching Wheel of Fortune and read a book yourself? It's like when you don't know what to read, but you really want to read, and you're kind of like down in the dumps about it. And the greatest book for this is called The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. First of all, not gonna lie, I always say this all the time, everyone loves pictures, and this book is action-packed with pictures. So number one, where's the wish? has pictures. Secondly, let's keep it real, it looks a little thick, however, not that many words per page. So you kind of fly through it and it really makes you feel like you've read more than you already have. Yay hooray. And number three, it's a wonderful recommendation for those of you who are animal lovers because it's all about aminals. And who doesn't love aminals? I love aminals. The one only I've been is based on a true story which sounds crazy, because you're like, um, aren't there talking animals? There aren't talking animals. But it's based on a true story about non-talking animals. Especially about this gorilla named Ivan, who was in a shopping mall zoo. Now, I know this might be shocking, there are actually horribly mistreated animals all over the country, all over the globe. And specifically, in these kind of almost zoos, these kind of illegal, but kind of legal zoos that 
kind of get away with permits and stuff. If you have to do bunny ears like this, then it's not, it's not legal. So Ivan spent 27 years at the zoo until he gained enough notoriety by creating his own paintings that he was saved and transferred to Zoo Atlanta. Now this novel, this story, takes place from Ivan's perspective. So it's all about Ivan and his life in the zoo, and he befriends this elephant named Stella. Now both animals, as well as the others, are mistreated by Mac, the boss of the zoo. And early on in the story, we're introduced to Ruby, baby elephant, who comes from the zoo. And after some terrible things happen, I won't spoil it for you, Ivan makes a promise to Ruby, and he says he will help her escape from this shopping mall zoo that they're both trapped inside of. There's a really good chapter early on in the book, on page 14, where we get a great example of the perspective of Ivan. And the chapter's called Gone. Some animals live privately, unwatched, but that is not my life. My life is flashing lights and pointing fingers and uninvited visitors. Inches away, humans flatten their little hands against the wall of glass that separates us. The glass says you are this, and we are that, and that is how it will always be. Humans leave their fingerprints behind, sticky with candy, slick with sweat. Each night a weary man comes to wipe them away. Sometimes, I press my nose against the glass. My nose print, like your fingerprint, is the first and last and only one. The man wipes the glass, and then I am gone. Then the next chapter is how he throws poo at people. No joke. So between the pictures, between not having that many words on each page, and the fact that you're rooting for a baby elephant, an adorable baby elephant, with her curmudgeon but well-meaning gorilla friends, The Wonder Only Ivan is a really fast-paced, fun read. It's sad at times. It can be a little shocking for younger readers, but anywhere from, I'd say, 4th to 8th grade, which seems like a weird disparity, but it's a very enjoyable book. Uh, we'll enjoy this book. Mitch, do you have anything you want to say to the people before we go? Maybe wish them a happy new year or something? That's really deep, Mitch. Thanks. What about you, Brenda? Well, actually, it wasn't so great. I mean, Kevin and I broke up. Fantastic. So until next time. Cool, right? Right, Mitch? No! You ready? Mitch sound number one. Wait, okay. <laughs> see, now I get shy. Blah, <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah. Mitch sounds. <laughs> yeah, a, little bit, a little bit longer than that. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. <gasps> <laughs> hey, you're a mess. <gasps> <laughs> is he a ghost? <laughs> that was is this the ghost of Mitch? That. You just murder Mitch? That is so ghost like. Okay. <laughs>